guys, what's going on? So today our plan was to run the beach and search for mullet. And when we first came out of Hillsboro Inlet, there was a ton of mullet outside the inlet. I got some pretty cool footage of the mullet jumping. There wasn't a lot going on in there. There was a few jacks. I saw one tarpon, but we were just running the beach looking for bigger schools of mullet. And my dad saw some birds diving out far. So we came out here. I have on a little tiny white jig and we trolled for less than a minute. And I hooked up to something that probably is gonna be a mackerel just on the reef in like 40 feet of water. Are those stuff underneath here? Yeah, there's a bunch of whatever it is. Ryan, cast your jig over here. There's stuff underneath her blue runner. <laughs> you have a blue runner? Yeah. You have a blue runner, right? Probably. Oh, just came by mine. Oh no, it's a little AJ, isn't it? That's why it's fighting so hard. Little AJ? Uh-huh. I think that's a banded a rudder fish or a lesser amberjack. It's one of those two. It's probably a lesser amberjack. It's a lesser amberjack. That's why he fought so good. There we go. Not gonna keep him, gonna let him go. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> <laughs> We just came up on a giant pot of mullet that is out far off the beach, perfect to fish from the boat. And we've seen a bunch of tarpon underneath the school. And Victor just cast on it a few. My dad's casting a jig. I'm trying to keep the boat just kind of around the school. But hopefully we can catch some fish here. There is like a giant school of something over there, Rick. A giant school of jacks. My dad's hooked up. There is just a giant school of jacks over there, Victor. These guys fight so good, even when they're so small. Yeah, little Jack Crevel grunting. Adios. Right, just like that, as soon as you cast into it. 
big school of little jacks. There's just like a giant black shadow over there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Grunting. <laughs> so this is just what I'm using. This is little with tiny white jig. Well, pompano. My dad's been wanting to catch a pompano on the boat so bad <laughs> that every fish he hooks, even when he knows that it's not one, <laughs> he just says it's gonna be a pompano. Blue Runner, he's even using a pompano jig. <laughs> you gonna get a pompano today, Dad? I'm trying. Oh gosh, I almost just fell in. So we finally found a really nice pod. We've run the beach all the way from Hillsborough, just past Boca. And these are the size of the mullet that we're fishing. Uh, finger size mullet. And the tarpon, what they'll do is all the predators, they like to sit on the outside of the school. A lot of people would think you cast your bait in the middle of the school, but that's not how it gets noticed. So what I'm gonna try to do is, we like to keep our baits just on the outside of the school. And that's one advantage of fishing a boat is you can do so. Whereas when you're from the beach, you're kind of limited as to what you can do and how to present your bait. So we're gonna try to find the tarpon, get on them, and uh, hopefully we can get a bite here soon. Yeah, there's a lot of There are a bunch of tarpon right now all around the boat. Oh, look at them, Vic. They want your mullet, man. Tarpon just on the outside of the school here. Like, the biggest tarpon ever. And then there's a bunch, there's a bunch of little ones, but big ones, they're heading out. chasing it. They're chasing it. There we go. Yeah, Vic, you need to show me how to do it? I'll show you how to. As soon as it hits the water. Oh, oh he's loud. Catch it when you get a little bigger. like eight frigates. Oh man, look at that. Oh, the stuff's on top over there. You can see the, ner you can see the nervous water. Look at that. Look at that frigate. Did he get one? 